At this point, we're going to invite Dr. Serena Grossbald back, who shared some very moving remarks, very compelling remarks earlier today on the special importance of Operation Warrior Wel Wellness for women veterans. And if you could share a few more thoughts, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I would just like to elaborate a little bit on some of the uh, things that I mentioned earlier this morning. First of all, again, just recognizing the fact that putting some attention on the women and women veterans who, as we said, have been under-acknowledged and underserved. And this new initiative with Operation Warrior Wellness, uh, very exciting. We, we hope to, to really make a difference for these women and begin to raise awareness for something that really has not gotten a lot of attention. A big issue for these women is trying to prove themselves in the military. They have to prove both to themselves that they can exist in a world that's predominantly a man's world and also be able to prove to others that they are uh, getting over it. They have to combat the notion that women are uh, weaker, that they can't do what men can do. And consequently, they have to sublimate what are their natural qualities of femininity, their natural qualities of nurturing. These are qualities that then when they come home, they are back into their family life, their friend's life. There was a, the question that was asked of the press about uh, how does this affect the family. The family, whether it's a man who's serving or a woman who's serving, the effect is they try to transition back as someone else has taken on a lead role in the family while they were gone. If they have children, 40% of, of women who are serving in the military have children. When they return, their children who have not seen them in however long a period of time, or that they've been deployed and back and deployed and back, and these children have not been able to have that constant connection with a parent, with their mother, with the mo that nurturing aspect that a mother, only a mother can play. And so for the child, for the, for the woman who's returned, for the other family members there, that transition is very difficult. And a woman has to then get back in touch with those qualities. And Tara can talk a little bit about that. And she explained to me recently just the aspect of getting ready for an event tomorrow night and being able to uh, get back in touch with getting a dress, with wearing heels. These are challenges that are very unique to women. And then the other aspect, as I mentioned earlier, military sexual trauma, something we've not heard a lot about. Women who have been in the military, this is a long underground issue. A recent study by the Veterans Administration showed that of the women who were coming to the VA, 55% of those women report that they were sexually harassed. 23%, almost a quarter of them, report that they were sexually assaulted. So this is a trauma that they're living with that there's not a lot of attention on and there's not a lot of services yet to provide to these women. So part of what we want to do is be able to fill that gap, to give them something that's personal and private. And again, the question was mentioned earlier about those who don't want to come forward about their traumas. It's a very strong issue for men with PTS, very strong uh, issue with women who have suffered MST. The aspect that transcendental meditation is perfect, personal and private, something that they can learn that's a resource to them, that they don't have to say what the trauma is if they don't want to. I also wanted to mention that someone had asked me, one of the press, what exactly is transcendental meditation? What is that experience? And you've heard the, them talk about their experiences and how it's changed their life, but I just want to mention very briefly what it is. And it's a natural technique that doesn't involve controlling the mind or trying to force the mind to do anything. It's a very simple, natural technique that allows the mind to experience thought at quieter and quieter and quieter states until eventually they lose even the boundaries of that thought to experience their own consciousness without that conscious thought. And the effects on the mind and body are profound. And that also what we see is that Women who have suffered trauma, whichever type of trauma it is, they have greater likelihood of, of significant other mental disorders later. And the fact that this technique, the ability to reduce those stresses, 
also reduces the likelihood of all of these other disorders. So again, Operation Warrior Wellness with this new initiative, particularly on women, we pledge to be part of the solution for these women and to help fill that gap. Thank you.